for me, a worst worst moments of the show, worst moments of a show are like when it either contradicts the plot or contradicts the intentions of the story. And for me, this type of story is like really analyzing our ideas of morality and what it means to be human and what it means to be community, da 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 da. But then it would have scenes that have such a teenage level of like what good and bad and morality is. Like, for example, like the donkey scene with the girl, a lot of pretty much any scene where they're showing boobs. It's very, it, it like, it either came across as, like, isn't this sexy or isn't this scandalous? And I was like, well, for a show that's trying to to have this level, this, this a certain level of uh, tone, it kind of really takes me out of it for, like, because it just felt so random and jarring and, like, it didn't belong in the story. Well, to be fair, I think there's a, there's a critique in the show. The show is trying to critique the kind of, like, the gratuitousness of like sex and violence and uh it's like a commentary on it because so it's so in your face because it's supposed to be just so in your face i don't think i don't think uh it's trying to be as edgy as it seems i think but what well, it is but it isn't you know it's my trying problem to, is not uh, that the show is making a commentary on sex is that it's really hypocritical about it because it'll be like oh my god, it's bad that it's like so negative and debased that this stuff is happening while showing it in a way that the audience is supposed to enjoy watching it. Mm. It's like having your cake and eating it too and being very hypocritical about the commentary. Like, if you're going to be like this type of over-sexual tendencies is bad, then like stand in your shit and don't put it in your show like that. But if you're going to also really frame so much of the story around it it just comes across as like it comes across as those paintings that have like a naked woman and they title it uh vanity and it's like you drew the painting you drew this well true true i guess uh, i mean obviously i don't it's know very like teenage boy navel gazing yeah i guess yeah i guess they're the it goes back to the original point. I guess there is something. That's another thing. Maybe they could have uh, done in maybe a different way. Yeah, as you said, maybe they sh- if they were gonna go down that path. They should have. F- they should have fully committed to it. But I guess there are points in the show where they're just trying to. Uh, I guess in a way, kind of make you feel bad for. You know, I don't know. Enjoying really the violence or enjoying the, bad, enjoying the groups. Though. Well, I mean, there's there's times where because you obviously you get those uh, fan service shots, but obviously there's a bunch of fan service shots. So, is it, uh, is it even fan service at this point, or is it just the the you know the creator just being like, yeah, you find this sexy, don't you? Huh? That's bad, and it's bad that you find this sexy. The Shame on you. You mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's that too. It's just like I know I what you like. Art. Let me show you what you like. You don't care about the message. You just care about the. The boobs and the violence, huh? I know what you like. And so it's kind of speaking to the viewer and just like, this is what you like, huh? You're going to watch all of this and you're going to enjoy it. And you're going to tell all your friends about it. And you're not really going to understand the message. But what are you going to remember? The boobs. And that's because I know you. You feel Well, the thing is, if they, were, if they were doing that, I would have respected it. But I don't even think they're aware that that's a thing. Oh, that's I think how they it are. comes across. I think, I think on some level, there's an awareness there. But at the same time, they, they kind of know it's kind of a commentary, but it's also kind of a way to sell the show. So, on the on one, I'm uh, having the type of show commentary mm. because one minute they're critiquing it, but the next minute they, they use it to you know sell the show. So, that's why people on YouTube were talking about it and the articles written about it because, like, look how horny and crazy this show is. And then maybe, I'm not saying the creator did this, but maybe the creator was like, I know this is what, that's what's going to get the headlines. And they're going to ignore the actual message behind it and the humanity behind it and the, the deeper meaning. I'm, I'm going to prove to the world that, look, I'm going to create this show that has so much deep symbolism and Bible stuff and, God, and you know, topics of Satan and God and all that kind of stuff and the humanity... And all this stuff, but the only thing they're going to be talking about is boobs and uh, and violence. I'm not saying that's what he was, that's what he did or was trying to do, but it's what ended up happening. So, if that was the intention, which I don't know if it was, then that is pretty swag. But 
Well, yeah. the thing is, if that was the intention, then to me, it's even worse because it failed miserably, especially considering it, like, I think in, like, episode six or seven, it just completely drops fan service. Like, it just stops having, like, the abrupt high color, high contrast fan service scenes that it would have and just just stops having them with pretty much no sort of, like, plot or story reason as to why. It just seems like they just didn't feel like doing it anymore. Like if there was a if there was a storyline where it was like we had the same fan service and maybe we're like going into the characters that we use as fan service and like why their situations exist or why it's bad that they were doing this, it would make more sense. But it's like they use the characters of fan service, half of them they just killed off, and then it just never touches the topic again. Mm. Well, what do you think? What do you think of that, Svat? Um I think a part of it is that it's it's on Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. And they wouldn't necessarily be able to put this kind of thing in a show that's on um, that's on TV in, in Japan, for example. So a part of it is just you know them using their creative freedom to add this in because they can because it's Netflix, so it allow them to, right? Um, but overall, I'm I mean, in terms of the fan service, it is a bit um it is a bit inconsistent in that it's yeah it's more or less dropped after like a certain episode. I think part of that might be just because they've run out of time, to be fair. There's only yeah. 10 episodes, and they have a lot of shit that they have to add like in the final three. But I would say a lot of it is more like, yeah, you know, let's just add it because it you know, resonates with you know, teenage boys, if you will. 